Hello everyone, Brian here, back in another video, and today we are doing a tutorial video on how to install IW4X. And as you can see, I have these things right here, I have my, I have a good old notepad, just so I cover everything I need to cover in this video. And what's really nice about downloading IW4X is that all you need is this thing right here, the updater. It's so simple to use, it's so easy, because what you do is, first of all, you need to have good old... Um, <laughs> Modern Warfare 2, or you can get it cracked. I'm not sure how to play IW4X, but they cracked. It's probably the same exact way, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to be showing it to you if you have well, MW2, follow along, and it will work perfectly fine. So, what you want to do is download M MW4, MW2. Once you've downloaded MW2, you want to open up the browse files in Steam by going like this, go here, multiplayer, right click, properties, browse uh, local files, browse local files. And right there, this will pop up. That's what this shortcut is. So it was just, I want to show you guys how to get there. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to plop the updater into here. I'm not gonna do it because I already have it. But once you've done that, you want to click updater, double click on it, make sure it's in your file, and this pops up. Welcome to IW4X installer. What do you want to do? Obviously, since you guys are installing, you're going to want to hit one. And once you hit one, it will just, it will be like, boom, connecting to Tor. It's, so since this is kind of like getting a cracked version of MW2, it's kind of on the, it's on the deep web. Ooh, so you might get... Uh, hacked no you won't get hacked there's no skip there's no um what are those things called viruses you won't get any of that from this so then this operation will delete each file that doesn't belong to mw2 or iw4x are you sure you want to do this yes already all f invalid files are being removed validate and repair mw2 base game this will take a while it usually doesn't take that while like it's saying it's like, taking like 20 seconds that's about it but while we wait for that i have to do my little Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you could leave a like, comment down below. Any short of feedback would be greatly appreciated. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy my content, please leave a please and forget to subscribe. Because when you guys subscribe, it makes my day. And after this po after this is done validating, it's like, oh, okay. And then it'll validate all the DLC and some extra stuff. Validated and installed corrupted things. It's already installed, so it's not going to reinstall it. But after this, it's either after this or after this. I'm pretty sure it's after this. It'll be like, you're missing some files. Would you like to download them? This At this point, you can put yes or no to download the DLC. It does take a long time. So I would recommend you guys either doing it overnight or say you wake up in the morning and you're going out all day. Do it then. It will take a while to download all of these. So I would, like I said, recommend it, recommend doing it when you're not at home. And once it says everything should be fine, let's get out of there. It says press enter and boom, all you'll need to do is launch IW4X. And if IW4X doesn't launch for some reason, so if I turn this on, there's a very high chance my IW4X will not launch. Let's try it. All right. I'm not going to touch anything. You know, I'm clapping. It's gonna launch. But if we're. It's gonna black screen. See? It instantly crashed. But now I'm gonna have to go to Task Manager. Right here. Close that. It's gonna black screen. Then come back. So, you're gonna want to turn off in game overlay off on geforce experience so you want to go here type in geforce and boom right there you want to click op open that up and go to settings and it's right there in game overlay which means you can't use shadow play which sucks so you're gonna have to record with obs with what, what i'm recording with if you want to capture any of your any anything in good old iw4x so you want to click that off and just to prove to you guys that that is what the problem is, let's. I have it pinned to my taskbar, and I also have a shortcut on my other monitor. 
double click to open it. It'd be really embarrassing if it doesn't launch now, but it should launch. See? Boom. You know it's gonna stay when it does this fade away thing. And there, there's that W4X. Now the first thing you wanna do, turning off that GeForce Experience overlay is what prevents it from black screening. That's the number one source of your game immediately black screening when the game launches. That, that's, I tried every other whatever, oh, just download this and run it when it's in this file. All of that was crap. None of it worked until I finally found one um, form is like, yeah, turn off your in-game overlay. I'm like, oh, okay. I did that immediately. It worked right after that. And now once you get into here, you want to go to barracks and you'll see unlock stats and you just click unlock and it unlocks everything for you. In this, you get 15 classes. So since I like to trick shot, I have a lot of them as like in trick shotting and stuff. Hey, look, they changed the whatever. I mean, it's really that easy to download IW4X, and I I think it's it's so helpful that um what it is um it's so it's so nice how easy it is and so easy to do. But right here, this is the fo this is the link that'll be in the description to get the updater. Let me open up Google. Hopefully, you like that little pega right there. Just do that. I'm even gonna, I'm just gonna download it, no preview, whatever, updater.exe. I clicked it, boom. You see it's downloading, just so you know, I'll open it. And there, see, it pops up. Do not de detect your base game, please place this, in this updater into your game folder. So right there, there's no scam arenas. And if you guys are the type that would like to have it on control, uh, controller on your PC, I will be showing you how to do that. And also, if I can't do it well, hopefully this person's video can. That link will take you right to this YouTube channel, the video, where it's IW4X support. And it's it, if, you, if mine doesn't work, hopefully this will work for you guys. So all you need to do is you're gonna need to open up Steam, plug your ears because this is gonna be super loud. I'm gonna, you, you're gonna wanna open up big picture mode. Plug your ears. Wow, that's loud. That'll be turned down for you guys, obviously. I won't keep it at that that length, that terrible, terrible volume. But you wanna plug in your controller. If I can plug in my controller, boom. My controller's plugged in, it will load. My controller will load, yeah. It'll just turn on. And for me, I already have it all set up. And now, what you're gonna wanna do is once you have big picture open and stuff, this is something I should have done before, but you're gonna wanna make a shortcut to um, IW4X. So as you can see, right, holy, where is it? I've won, a little, won too many games. Why can't I see it? Oh, I removed it on here, that's why. So you wanna go add game, add a non-Steam um, game, I like how I've cheated on here, but these aren't even on my computer. I don't know why they're there. Go browse, and you want to go to wherever this is downloaded. Don't just please don't mind that. Uh, go to storage space, which is what mine's called. Steam library, Steam apps, common, MW2, and you'll see IW4X. Click on that, open. Make sure it's checked. Add selected programs, and one, once that's there. Everything will be good. Now you can open up Big Picture. Incredibly loud again. Then plug in your controller. Click Settings. No, sorry. You're gonna want to go to Library. Um, games. Find the IW4X thing right here. Click on it. Go to Manage Shortcut. Controller configuration, and then it should have your thing here. And if it doesn't, what you can do is go into settings, controller settings, and if you're using a PlayStation, make sure it detects your controller as a PlayStation 4. 
and check mark that. But if you're using an Xbox One controller like me, you want to make sure. Oh no, what did I do? Whatever. Make sure this is checked and nothing else. So once that is done, then go into IW4X by scrolling. Okay, that was weird. By scrolling down, finding IW4X, manage shortcut, controller configuration browse configurations and as you can see there's people iw4x good iw4x perfect xbox one trick shotting and you, by clicking on these this pops up and what this does is you just click apply configuration and boom now you can just trick shot with a controller it's simply that easy but make sure you click on control options and click allow desktop configuration in launcher first and now just i'll just even launch it boom with the controller it should launch in a good old three two one and just like that it launches and i'll even go into a game real quick it says confi config loaded. This is the only way to use a controller, so you have to launch it through, um, what is it? Big picture mode. Um, otherwise, it'll be like, oh, launch in big picture mode to get the full use of your controller. And it's like, why do I need to go into big picture? Who knows? Some games automatically, um, detect, what is it? controllers so it automatically works but some games don't like iw4x so i will be showing you that if you can hear this i'm i'm not i'm not clicking with the mouse clicking with the controller so i mean it works sometimes you have to mess around with it change up the settings yourself especially if you're going to be trick shotting you're not going to be using some things so you don't need to do everything but i mean it's easy as that and that is how you download iw4x use a controller and all of that good stuff so hopefully this video helped you guys because if it did please don't forget to leave a like comment down below any constructive feedback would be greatly appreciated and if you're new to my channel and you enjoy my content please 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 don't forget to subscribe because when you guys subscribe, it makes my day. And I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Whatever that is, which is tomorrow, like always. And yeah, goodbye, everybody.